It is the soldier's job to fight for victory on the battlefield. It is the job of the logistician to give him what he needs, when and where he needs it, in the condition required for his use, so that the fighting man can move and communicate. In short, to provide him with combat essential materiel. This materiel must not only be in working order, the soldier must be trained to use it effectively and to maintain it so that it will be fully operational when needed. This is materiel readiness. There were few complexities to logistics in the early wars of the United States, and materiel readiness was a relatively simple matter. Firepower in the Revolutionary War was concentrated chiefly in the muzzle-loading musket of the rifleman and some rather primitive artillery, with horses or oxen supplying the motive power. Supplies were hauled in carts, and mobility for the soldier was a matter of sturdy feet and decent boots. Nor did the wars of the 19th century see much change in logistics operations or the nature of materiel. That was true of the War of 1812, as well as the Mexican War. The greater need for mobility as army units penetrated deep into Mexico was met simply by an increased use of wagon wheels and pack mules. The Civil War brought no revolution in logistics, just a tremendous expansion in logistical operations to supply the huge armies fielded by both North and South.